Please reconsider. Sir, listen to me. You, if you could see me right now, you would understand. If you could see where I am. <laughs> Sir, please don't do this to me. Please. No. Are you serious? No. You're gonna be all right. You're gonna be all right. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In this video, I wanted to talk about something that I've been noticing over the past few months, maybe to a year actually. And that is that the climate of social media is becoming less and less suitable for publicity stunts, if that makes sense. And it seems like it really doesn't matter who is orchestrating these stunts. People are just not having it in the past little bit. And in fact, many of these stunts tend to backfire. And why do these stunts exist in the first place? Shortly put, these influencers, celebrities, public figures, whatever you want to call them really, are getting desperate. Now they've been desperate, but they're getting more desperate. I mean, look how saturated social media is, bitch. Even I create content. We've seen so many PR stunts in the past couple of years alone, and I think this is a testament to the increasing desperation in this community. We've seen Austin and Catherine McBroom's whole divorce drama all over Snapchat, featuring some very absurd clips from Austin. It was hard. Yeah. How do the ladies do this shit, man? <laughs> Austin specifically is trying to get as much attention as he can from this divorce divorce that no one has been able to find records of to this day and it's especially weird because divorce records are public in the state of California so many people think this information should be easily accessible Austin even at one point moved into DDG and Hallie's house in the midst of all of this and this was thoroughly documented on Snapchat as well. We've seen Kylie and Timothy cozying up at the Golden Globes all in an effort to get the blogs talking. We've seen Charlie and Dixie cosplaying minimum wage workers specifically at Walmart and I believe this was to promote their popcorn. Talk about tasteless and out of touch. We've also seen a whole missing lipstick scandal that I still can't tell if it was real or fake. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. We've seen Kim Kardashian desperately trying to be linked with Odell Beckham while making it look like she isn't the one putting it out there, when well, we all know she is. All of this has happened in the past few months to a year, and all of these PR stunts have backfired. And what do they really expect? People are either finally waking up and realizing that a lot of what is being pushed in the media isn't even real, so why even take it seriously? Or people are becoming more inclined to consume content from creators they deem to be more genuine and more normal or relatable, like me. And there are many other reasons why PR stunts will no longer work the same. I also think it's becoming more and more difficult for celebrities to get the desired effect from these stunts because people are realizing that these celebrities are simply chasing sympathy, in most cases, from people who have to deal with very similar problems in their life but also have the burden of having to worry about money. That and they're trying to get attention for doing very normal things like dating someone. Some of these influencers are so out of touch and they actually think that they can garner sympathy from people who go through the same issues as they do but also have to clock into a job that they might actually hate every day from nine to five. Heck, some people are working multiple jobs and going through divorce at the same time. And this is why I find it crazy to see people like Austin McBroom using his divorce to gain sympathy. And let's face it, he's hoping to exchange the sympathy for more money, fame, and attention. But what happened with this whole Austin McBroom situation is kind of funny because instead of him getting sympathy, many people started critiquing him or if that's possible, making videos about him and at one point pulling some of his old tweets to show the type of person that he has always been. 
again and they make him look really really bad again because this isn't the first time this is happening and if he was talking like that before all the fame just imagine the type of person he may be now i'm not saying that this is 100 percent factual but money has been known to amplify the type of person and the qualities in somebody that already exists. And this is mainly because of the sense of power that many people feel from having lots of money. The sense of being invincible. And I think this is why a lot of people are thinking twice about who they give their attention to and who gets a platform. And rightfully so. It's actually getting to the point where a lot of celebrities might have to go back to having regular jobs or career paths just because of the nature of social media and people seeking more genuine, relatable people in general. People are understanding more and more that idolizing people has absolutely no benefit to them. So yes, maybe some of these mainstream influencers will still be able to sell their respective products or start successful businesses, but the times when people would rely mainly on their likeness in order to build a platform is almost over, I fear. People don't want your products anymore just because your face is on it. They want to know that it actually works. Of course, some people will continue to idolize celebrities, but it will become increasingly difficult to captivate a large audience that is constantly caring about what you're doing and buying everything you're selling. Look at Risa Tisa and the way people just gravitate towards her. This is in part, if not fully due, to her obvious ability to relate to normal everyday people who experience betrayal, heartache, and trust issues. The thing with Risa Tisa is she wasn't trying to garner sympathy. She told her story in a raw, truthful way and took accountability for the part that she played in everything that went down with her now ex-husband. This is the type of person most people want to see winning and having a platform that they can profit from. So when I say that we're in the age of backfires, it's simply due to the fact that majority of PR stunts today backfire. When people try to do the same things that used to work in the past to gain attention and to eventually secure brand deals, instead of them being met with sympathy or the reaction that they're looking for from the people, they're often met with questions, investigations, and deep dives. Now just because people don't always believe these stories doesn't mean that the stunt completely falls through. We've all seen a celebrity try to take part in a PR stunt, seemingly be exposed, but they still have a new brand deal the following week. These celebrities do want to be liked, but ultimately this is about money and attention of any kind is in fact currency. They know that people, whether they believe you or not, will screenshot, screen record, or even publish content on their opinion on the situation. And this is still publicity at the end of the day. Bad press is still press. Like I'm sure Austin's analytics are out of this world, if not right in this moment, at least when he was making the most content about his divorce. Yet no one believes him or feels bad for him. So is a backfire really a backfire if you're still profiting off the stunt? All right, guys, I think I'm going to leave this video here. I know it is a very short video, but it was just something that I noticed that I just wanted to come on here real quick and talk about and hear what you guys have to say about it. Please don't forget to like this video if you enjoy it. I can't wait to read your comments. Obviously, subscribe if you haven't already and you feel like it, if you enjoy this type of content. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh. By the way, when it comes to my vlogging channel, I know a lot of you have been like reaching out and telling me, oh, you said you're going to be posting vlogs and stuff, but you haven't posted anything. That or people will tell me that they just can't find the page. The page is more Missy Miss. That's M-O-R-E, Missy Miss. Um, I haven't posted anything on there and some people are saying they can't find it, but don't worry. I will post links as soon as I start posting. I have been filming content for it. I just haven't edited because I'm kind of lost when it comes to vlogs right now. It's been so long since I've filmed and edited a vlog. It's like, I don't know why I'm overthinking it, but I will get content out as soon as possible. And I appreciate you guys so much for reaching out and actually being interested in it. And yeah follow me on tiktok my tiktok is uh missy miss underscore i'll put it over here somewhere and yeah i haven't been on instagram at all lately so my instagram link is pretty useless right now but definitely follow me on tiktok i plan on being more consistent on there sharing about my workout journey all of that stuff 
all of that good stuff. So, um, yeah, guys, I'm just getting ready for work right now, which is why part of the reason why this video is so short. Uh, but uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.